What's up guys, welcome to Sagnut, where we talk about gaming news that you probably heard about yesterday. First up is a story that one of you actually sent to me via Twitter, so thanks for the heads up. Now this actually got me very excited for Xbox again. It looks like a pick was leaked giving away some of the titles that Xbox is planning to announce at their E3 presentation. The list names mm, some games we know were coming out like Forza 5 and Quantum Break, but also leaked Halo Spartan Assault before it was announced yesterday. But if this leak is legit, looks like we can be looking forward to some Halo 5, another Banjo-Kazooie, Fable 4, Dead Rising 3, and so much more. In fact, I have a list of games listed in the description for all of you there. But more importantly, the list has Killer Instinct on there. Oh god, I want this to be true. So bad. I've been waiting for a reboot for this since, well, years ago. Uh, and I'm hoping that all my gaming prayers will be answered this year at E3. Now, people have been giving Xbox a lot of shit for not saying anything about their games in the last presentation, but it looks like at this E3 presentation, they're gonna be making up for all of that and more, possibly even winning fans back over to the Xbox side of things. Guess we'll just have to wait to see. It's Monday's the presentation, so let's see what happens. Now over to Sohinky, talk about some DayZ. For all of you zombie survival fans, it looks like the alpha version of the DayZ standalone game leaked on PC, so if you're clever, and by clever I mean if you know how to do a Google search, then you can probably get your hands on it and test it out for yourself. Based on the gameplay footage I've seen, it looks pretty similar to the old Arma 2 mod version. Most of the footage is just of people running around wearing motorcycle helmets, and the one clip that actually shows zombies makes them look extremely buggy, but that being said, it is an alpha version, so I'll withhold judgment on things like that. My biggest issue with games like DayZ and War Z, though, is what is the point? The only goal in these games seems to be to survive, which would mean that the atmosphere and the gameplay would be the main reason to play, but with buggy zombies, and they are buggy in both Day and War Z, and people shooting each other on sight, the atmosphere just isn't there and the gameplay is just kind of whatever. What would be cool is if they added quests, secret sashes, and things like that into the environment to keep things interesting. It wouldn't have to be your standard go talk to someone that wants you to do something quest, but something would be nice. Speaking of zombies, now over to Lasercorn with some info about the Last of Us multiplayer. Well, some Last of Us multiplayer footage has hit the web, giving us details on what kind of experience that's shaping up to be. There's a couple different game types, one called Survivor and one called Supply Raid. According to official PlayStation Magazine's website, the main difference between these two game types is that in Supply Raid, teams will share a pool of 20 lives, whereas in Survivor, there are no respawns and rounds last three minutes each. Now, the most notable thing about the leaked footage and also the officially released screenshots is that there are no clickers or runners anywhere to be found. I have to say this is a little disappointing to me as I was kind of hoping that the game would make use of the fungus infected enemies to make a unique game mode that switches things up from a normal deathmatch. But all hope isn't lost, they could make a clicker deathmatch DLC later, and even if they don't, it looks like the single player is going to rock hard enough to warrant buying this game. I played the demo and I have to say it's looking pretty awesome. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this week's segment. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.